Castle Gallery in Lisburn is celebrating 10 years in business. To mark the occasion, you've taken on a very special project. Andy, tell me a little bit about it. Well, Neil was on one day, he basically said, um, he had painted another painting on a, on a wall in another gallery. The Elmer Bass. The Elmer Bass. Mm -hmm. And um, at the end of the exhibition, it was painted over. And he liked the idea of it being permanent. Permanent and kind of shown again at some stage. Um, but kind of permanently covered. Yeah, I was hoping, I knew the Elmer Bass couldn't keep them all. But, um, I, and the, the deal was that they were to be painted over. Uh, but I'd never worked on that scale before. I mean, these figures that I painted were 25 foot uh, high. Right. And uh, I just had an extension rod that I, I saw a window cleaner <coughs> on Western Road cleaning the first floor windows. And I thought, great, I'll get one of those extension rods tied my verse at the end of it, and that's how I, I, I there was, it wasn't done with ladders or anything like that. Uh, far, far better with the rod. Uh, but partly because you didn't have full control. Sometimes you can be too precious about these things. But uh, the rod and the brush 20 foot up there was kind of a bit shaky. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, uh, it was a, I love the experience, a fabulous, fabulous experience for me. And I was telling Andy all about this, and um, I said they were painted over almost immediately for their next exhibition, whereas I had hoped, no, it wasn't, they didn't promise anything, but I thought maybe once they saw it, it would be lovely to batten the walls, and then in 50 or 60 years, whoever was in the building might have been doing a bit of renovation and come across these. Yes. How exciting it would be. So I was talking to Andy about the prospects and he said, no, we've got a wall here, it's not. Well, it's 20, 20, 20 foot or 25 feet, so we've gone horizontally rather than, than, than up. And he said, uh, if you can be part of our celebrations, he'd be delighted. And so was I, the opportunity. So this is going to be covered up maybe in about a week. People can come in and look at it, but the whole idea is for it to be hidden again yes and hopefully at some point in the future we discovered uh, it will be rediscovered yes. i mean the time there's a time capsule aspect to this sandy isn't there you're you're going to cover it as yeah, as needs the point of it is that it's um yeah that's like it's you know, things are put with it so whoever finds it knows exactly the process of the of, of, of oh yeah the painting came about yeah it's going to be documented um, yes yeah um, what about the subject matter, Neil? Your choice? Well, they, they, at the old events, <laughs> um, they were huge figures, which uh, I'm, I'm known for figure, figure drawing. But over the years, um, I have done images of the bull. And because of the shape of this war, it just was an ideal image. Too. And it, it actually goes right back to the cave paintings too. You know, yeah. there's a sort of rock, full circle feel and everything. And that's interesting with the di discovery aspect, isn't it, that we're hoping for? Right. And I just, the bone is such a powerful, it has such power in it, that I hope I've got something of that recorded here.